So this is the Stanley 24 ounce food jar. This is the Thermos 16 ounce food jar. So this is a little competition. We're gonna test hot and cold and just see how long they stay hot, how long they stay cold, and then go over the advantages of each. So this one's only eight ounces bigger than this one, but it's almost twice as tall. Uh, both of them have the cup you can eat out of and then the big plugger to keep it cool and then a big wide mouth. That's what makes it different than a drink jar. A food jar, you can actually get a spoon in there to get your food out. The thermos, cup, plug. This is where you get the gimmick. I love gimmicks. So this is where thermos kind of wins. That pressure fits in there and then you just kind of swing it out and you have a transformer spoon. Pretty cool. And then the inside of the jar looks like that. Big wide mouth and then this one's short enough where you can eat soup out of it. I eat oatmeal out of it every morning. It's great for steel cut oats. You put them in there with boiling water and then an hour, hour and a half later, you've got perfect oatmeal. They're both BPA free and dishwasher safe. Uh, the Stanley is rated at 15 hours hot, 18 hours cold. And the thermos comes in at nine hours hot and 14 hours cold, which we're gonna test here. Either one is a great choice or both. Link in description if you wanna buy one. And if lunchbox space is a consideration, the thermos takes up a lot less space than the Stanley. And then thermos also makes one called the Thermo Cafe that's super tiny that you could use if you're really space limited. So we put boiling water in them, leave a little bit of room at the top so it doesn't get vacuum stuck shut. Temperature check, 205.8 and 203. Start the timer. All right, we've hit 12 hours. Let's take a reading. Stanley Food Jar says 150. So that is great for 12 hours. And the little thermos. There's that vacuum effect. You always want to leave some air. 136.9. So on the 12 hour score, Stanley is minus 55.8 and Thermos is minus 66.1, which is honestly pretty good for that little guy considering this big one has a lot more insulation. I think they, they lose a lot of their heat out of the lid and this one's got a big old fat lid and a big cup, whereas this one's got the little tiny one. So that's probably where the difference was. Either way, I'm very happy with both of them. Okay, and just for fun, here they are at 24 hours. Stanley says, the 120.9, so that's pretty good. That's still warm enough to eat, like if you're having soup, it definitely still feels, feels warm. So you could conceivably go 24 hours with this one. And the thermos comes in at 106.8, classic rock. So your 24 hour number, minus 84.9 for the Stanley and minus 96.2 for the thermos. And that heat retention means it's good enough to cook rice. It takes about five hours in the Stanley steamer to do one cup of rice. You can cook half a cup of rice in the 16 ounce thermos and it's 157 degrees after five hours. Perfect for lunch in the car. And a 14 hour test of the little thermos, 194 degree soup goes in. 14 hours later for lunch, it's 122.9 degrees. And in the cold test, the Stanley full of ice, 12 hours, still got ice. 24 hours, still got ice. 36 hours, got ice with some water at the bottom. 72 hours, you've got ice water. And then finally, after 96 hours, you got water water. And if you throw a thermometer in there, survey says 47 degrees after 96 hours. And the little thermos, 16 ounce thermos with ice in it, 12 hours, you've got ice. 24 hours, you've got ice water. 36 hours. You've got ice water, and then finally after 48 hours, you're down to water, water. So the Stanley wins this one.